want a chance to win a Pokemon booster box, all you gotta do is leave a like, comment, and be a subscriber to the channel. The winners will be announced once we hit 5,000 subscribers. Want more details on the giveaway? Check out the description of the video. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to The Lion's Cave today. Back with another episode of Man Cave Monday, episode number four. Today we'll be opening some Digimon cards. Um, mostly Digimon. Uh, we'll be opening some Digimon release special booster version 1.0 and 1.5. We got six packs of 1.0 and three packs of 1.5. Super stoked to get into these packs today. Um, man, Digimon has been super fun to open. Um, and quite a few of you guys have been responding positively to the packs of Digimons that we opened on the channel so far. So um, we're doing some more. And I know our channel is mostly Pokemon and a lot of you guys that are watching are Pokemon fans as well. So we're gonna throw in some battle styles because that's how we do it on uh, Man Cave Mondays. We just do a whole mishmash of everything amazing in the collector's world. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to when I get all the packs out of here. So uh, hang tight, hang tight. All right, we got all the packs out of, out of the triple blisters. Two promos, Eevee and Jolteon. I'm sure you guys have seen these promos many, many times by now. Um, we got six packs of battle styles as well. We'll save that for last. Um, we got the Shaman coins. I got way too many of these Shaman coins, but they're cute though. They're cute, so no complaints there. Um, yeah, let's get this party started, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, before we do, geez, I keep forgetting. Um, I wanted to share a couple of purchases that I made. Um, so I got, I bought these sleeves a while back, back before the Pokemon craze started, but took a while to get to me because um, the pandemic shipping went all messed up. But finally got these. These are from the J Pokemon Center in Japan. Um, I don't know, Japanese sleeves are just a lot better than what we get here in North America. Um, not that I'm not, not that I'm, I am definitely grateful that I can. I'm grateful that I can order from the Pokemon Center, but man, if we could order from the Pokemon Center Japan directly, holy cow, my wallet would be non-existent. But yeah, I just wanted to share these sleeves that I purchased from the Pokemon Center Japan. Um, I love these ink arts um, of sleeves and Pokemon. They look super cool, but without further ado, let's get cracking into Digimon. Super excited, we're on the hunt for some Omnimons. That is basically the Charizard. Basically this guy right here, the Charizard of Digimon. Um, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with um, Digimon, um, yeah, I think Omnimon's currently sitting at about 200 some dollars. I could be incorrect, I could be wrong, but there's actually a couple different different arts but anyways let's get started with this pack we got a mummy mon aru kenya mon ooh mega seedra mon that's a cool one plasma steak zuba eager mon magna angel mon okay ooh right raiju ludo mon black gato mon argo mon ooh clavis angel i think we have this one already a hollow rare paladra mon that's actually pretty cool i actually had a figure of this guy when i was a kid Brings back those good memories. And then Davis Motomiya. I think he's like one of the main tamers from from like the from like that era. Um geez, I, I did not come prepared. I should have come with sleeves. Let's see, I should have some sleeves here. Alright. Um I usually like to use um I like to use regular size sleeves for Digimon instead of perfect fits but perfect fits will do for now all right and i honestly don't know what cards are are expensive or worth worth a decent amount so i'm just gonna go ahead and sleeve every single card that we get all right we'll put digimon um over here Oop, sorry knocked the camera over you know what? we'll put on this on the left side hopefully you guys can see the hits there you go all right now that we're all set up Let's get this ball rolling. Um, a few other cards that we're searching for. 
A uh, War Greymon is also a really cool card. There's a couple alternate arts War Greymons. Hopefully, I have, I'll have images. If not, um, hopefully, we pull them. That would be nice. All right, Argomon, Sha Shamanmon, Position Laser. Got a Vmon, Jewel Bmon. This guy looks familiar. Clockmon, Magna Angelmon again. Vidramon, okay, pretty cool. Demi Vidramon, Terriermon. This guy is so adorable. I think it's like Gen 2 or 3. Lady Devimon, Hollow, and an Angel Woman. Angel Woman. <laughs> Can't even pronounce that correctly. Two Hollows. Um, both of them are new. So pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, I don't think I'll be collecting the Master Set for Digimon because. I mean, collecting. I'm already collecting master sets for Pokemon, so collecting master sets for two types of trading card games would just be absolutely bonkers. But here you go. Those are the two rares from that pack. All right, last pack of the 1.5 boosters. So if you look on TCG Player, right, um, the special release boosters are actually all just bunch together in one list 1.5 and 1.0 Ooh, Hawkmon cute but um yeah they actually the two sets actually have two different sets of cards that you can get hidden potential discovered that is so adorable I'm pretty sure this guy evolves into digivolves to that um but here we go we have a phoenix mon and ooh, Ragna lard mon that is a cool looking card all right we have a very First super rare of the day. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. And I need to be, definitely need to be more prepared next time. I was hoping to put these in some bigger sized sleeves, but these will do for now. I don't know why I keep pulling this Phoenix, Phoenix Mon. Maybe I, I should play a deck with it. Don't know if it's even playable, but hey. A super rare pull. Pretty happy about that. Alright. Making sure it doesn't fall off. Alright, let's keep going. Going to booster 1.0. This is with this is the set where there's the most expensive Omnimon. So um, if you're looking at between booster 1.5 and 1.0, 1.0 is definitely the more sought after one. And most likely will be the most more expensive one if you're looking at this in cart shops and stuff. All right, Metal Greymon, very cool, very good start. Dolphmon, Kudamon, Vegemon, Nuclear Laser, Hagurumon, Kapurimon, Gotsumon, that's pretty familiar. Tinkermon, Darkness Claw, ooh, Metal Tyrannomon, uh, this is a rare. I don't know if you guys noticed it yet, but there's a like gold border for the rare cards, which is pretty cool. And a Izzy Izumi. Very nice. Alright. Maybe I should just leave the cards after. Just to make the videos go a bit faster. We're already hitting the 9 minute mark. So yeah, I think unless we get like a super rare or something, I'm just going to put the cards on the side. And I'll sleeve it after. So don't worry, for those of you... Um, who are, who are actually keeping track with Digimon and stuff. We're actually like familiar with the meta and if I pull some amazing card, rest assured I will sleeve it eventually. <laughs> All right, let's just take it out like this. And the packaging. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got a Vilemon, V Nova Blast, okay. Leolmon, Monzemon, Pixiemon, Hornbuster, Metal Tyrannomon, ooh, Grellmon, very cool, Leomon, Groundramon, hey, I think we have something here, Skull Greymon, and a Metal Greymon. I believe, I believe this is a alternate art, or a secret rare, I think it's a secret rare. It actually looks really similar to like the older Digimon cards. That is a cool pool for sure, let's leave that up. I'm going to use a bigger sleeve for this one. Alright. That is a very sweet pull for sure. Since we're sleeving, we might as well sleeve this one up as well. Alright. Very nice pull for sure. Man, that is an awesome looking card. Uh, last time I checked, I think that one was worth a decent amount. At least like 10 20 bucks. Um, I might be completely off 
but uh, hopefully I'll have the price on the screen for you guys. So at least you guys have an idea like, you know, what kind of stuff we're pulling. Hey, this guy looks like Lego. Toy Agumon. Hey, it is. it looks like Agumon, that's kind of funny. Mushroomon, Caesarmon. Blade of the True, Liamon, Akuamon, Werekruumon. First time pulling this guy. That is an awesome looking art. Jagamon, Wanyamon, Woodmon, Matt Ishida, and Neikakumon. All right, I'm just gonna leave this on the side. We'll sleeve them up after. Trying not to make the videos um, not too long. But uh, we do want to enjoy our opening today. Goblimon, Volcanic Dramon. All right, that's kind of cool. Dark Tyrannomon, Forbidden Temptation, Kakatori, Kokatorimon, Mushroommon, Oblivion Bird, Boltmon, Biomon, one of the OGs, Baby Domon, <laughs> Symphony Number no. One, Polyphony. Oh, we got something here. Venom Myotismon. Uh, I don't think he's a super rare, but it does look like a full art. Very interesting card. And it says here that it's a rare, so yeah. I don't think it's a super rare, but hey, it's still a really cool looking card for sure. On to the next one. I think he's like one of the one of the villains from from uh, the TV show. He does look familiar. That is for sure. All right. On to the next pack, Flerizamon, Gravity Crush, Caesarmon, Pixelmon, Pixiemon, I mean, Dimension Scissor, Armadillomon, Super Cute, Hearts Attack, Demi Demimon, Darkmon, Lodarmon, Li wait, whoa, 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 Lodar Limon, Lyomon, like, jeez, man, Shield of the Just, and for the rare, we have a Zudomon, Super Rare, very, very nice. Um, we will sleeve the super rare up. That we will do. For sure. Let's see here. Alright. I actually quite like this guy. With the hammer. He looks real tough. First time pulling this. Very happy about it. Very, very nice. Alright. Okay, last pack of Digimon for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this opening as much as I did. Definitely had a lot of fun. Cracking open something a little different. Um, we're definitely still gonna be a Pokemon channel. We'll be cracking open Pokemon for sure, so don't you worry, folks. Um, oh my god, this packaging just won't come off. This static. Alright. Hopefully, we get a Wargreymon. That would be nice. Oops, I think I spoiled it a little bit. Alright, Numemon. Hornbuster. Tsukaimon, I think? Agumon, Muchomon, Atomic Ray, Metal Tyrannomon, Darkmon, Loader Lyomon, Boltmon, War Growlmon, alright. And a Lilthmon. Okay. I thought it would be a War Greymon, but this is. I think this is actually a pretty playable card as well. So, it's another super rare. Very nice. Alright, we're, we're gonna sleep that super rare for sure. I might as well do the War Growlmon, because. He's pretty badass too. All right. So that is it for the Digimon TCG. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Definitely pulled some really awesome looking cards. Um, but yeah, we're gonna wrap up today's opening with some good old Pokemon. As I mentioned, um, we're not we're not transitioning over to Digimon at all, but. Still would love to open some Digimon because I grew up watching this Digimon probably as much as I did Pokemon to be honest. Um, both equally have a special place in my heart. So the fact that Digimon has a TCG like right now is, that, is, is really exciting for me. And I'm glad to hear that a lot of you guys um, have been really excited for Digimon as well. But Without further ado, on to battle styles, Pokemon. Let's get that Urshifu, shall we? That rapid strike, alternate art Urshifu. Ooh, green code. Code number one for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get this show on the road. Like the buds, Gligar, Honich, Scatterbug. Definitely Pokemon. Definitely very different vibe 
Um, Digimon has like a much, a lot of the cards take up the full card. Uh, but Pokemon has like the classic art and the attacks on the bottom. Very different feel. Reverse Chimaco, regular rare. Victory Bell. Next pack. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this code for the folks um, on Instagram. So if you guys were not able to grab any codes in today's video, uh, make sure to go and check out Instagram for more codes. And I'm assuming most of you are here for Digimon anyways. The thumbnail is just gonna be Digimon, so you guys probably aren't expecting Pokemon codes either. anyways. Reverse Spupa and a regular rare Galarian Slow Bro. Alright, next pack. Come on, let's hope. Honestly, I don't need to pull a lot of po get, I don't need to pull a lot of cards from these triple blisters. Just like one solid pull. Um, I would be happy with that. We're still trying to pull that Empoleon alternate art. That would be amazing to pull for sure. Uh, we got a Grumpig, Crawdont, Reverse Phalanx. I love my Phalanx. And a regular rare, Salazzle. Alright, so from that triple blister, <clears throat> nothing super special. Hopefully this triple blister changes that. Oh boy. Alright, another code for you guys. Should I even do the card trick? I think you guys saw the color of that cold. I'm gonna try to zip through this one a little faster. But we might pull something in the reverse slot. Nope, reverse more Peko. Nothing fancy, and another Phalanx. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and save this code as well for the folks on Instagram. But uh, let's do the card trick, shall we? All right, here we go. We got a Silic, ooh little print error there you guys can probably see that uh it's just that one card though yeah it happens it's uh i don't think it's weird enough to be worth any money but i feel like pokemon rushed this second printing they just kind of rushed it out some weird issues uh with the print run reverse timber and a hollow steelix very cool looking card for sure but the last pack Come on, let's get me an alternate art. Doesn't even need to be their Rapid Strike or Shifu. It could be anything. Any of the alternate arts in the set. All of them look super amazing. All right, let's do this. Eh, I think that's the energy. All right, got a Scatterbug, Houndor, Frelish, Sailor Cobra, Glamial, Swordward, Shieldbird, Indeedy, Weeping Bell. Reverse Hollow Bolton and a Hollow Cherub. I actually don't think I pulled that before. So that's kind of cool. But no hits from the blisters at all. But I did enjoy today's Digimon opening. That was the main event. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. As I, as I did. But yeah, if you guys missed any of the previous Man Cave Mondays, check out the playlist. I'll hopefully include it here or in the description. But yeah. Um, that is it for me today guys. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Check out a few videos if you guys have some extra time. But yeah, that is it for me today guys. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Staying safe until next time. Take it easy.